Hello, and welcome back to Earthbound. Yeah, I promise never to say it like that ever again. Ever again! Fuck! My trash can's like all up in my business. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. Oh, talk to perfect face dad over here. I'm really sorry but that, that my kids trouble you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you probably like smacked him around a bit. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. May have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family now live in poverty. Yeah, sure looks like it. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Ah, look, it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. No! She basically kicked Buzz Buzz's ass. She's like ten times better than Starman. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gagas, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. Alright. You are a very intelligent young man. And all oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Er, yes. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It's the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight year sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Er, gasp. And that's got the soundstone. And Buzz Buzz dies, unfortunately. I know it's a tragic tale of... You know. Oh, snap. Hooray, it's daytime out. Um. Oh. Of course, we just had to get this guy. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. I'm like fuzzy pickles. He takes a picture. Wow, what a great photograph. I'll always bring back the fondness of memories. And he flies into the sky. Ah, uh, that guy's crazy. That's definitely not the last we're going to see of him. Anyway. <clears throat> You're back. Don't bother yourself talking now. You look too tired. Might as well eat some pie and scoot up to bed. If it was like morning and I was like, okay, let's eat pie and go up to bed. I think someone would be seriously wrong with me. Maybe it should have been like eggs or something. I don't know. I like eggs. I just had um, actually a bagel with uh, eggs and cheese on it. It was uh, delicious. I made it myself. <laughs> oh god, wild dogs out front of my house. Okay, believe it or not, that guy actually pretty much kicked my ass. Um, hold on. I'm gonna do some life up on ourselves. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Anyways, these butterflies basically refill your, um, PP, um, so, if you ever see one, I would suggest healing up and then, uh, taking it on. Anyways, we got a new enemy here, if I am correct. Aw, oh, snap. <coughs> the coil snake, yeah. He can do that, basically make it so you can't move, but... It uses up one of his turns as well, so it's almost like it's kind of pointless on his side to do it. But, you know, it's just one of those things that they teach you early that enemies can do that. Anyways, uh, Mr. Liar Exaggerate told us to uh, come by his house later, so we're going to go do that. Because he said that he had a secret to show us. My god, why am I getting lag? Okay, nothing too special there. Oh snap, back attack. 
Yeah, that system is the, uh... God damn it. Alright, we just hit level 4 and we learned, uh, hypnosis. Um, anyway, uh, something I wanted to say was, when you sneak up on an enemy from behind, you're gonna get a green spiral, that means you get the opening attack. Um, if an enemy comes up on you from behind, it means you get, uh, a red spiral, and that means the enemy gets the first turn, so... Always pay keen attention to that. I think those birds always drop cookies. I mean, I haven't fought a single one yet that hasn't. Or at least, not in this playthrough. Anyways, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. Yeah, his bed looks like someone took a shit on it. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go into the basement. Ah, I can tell by the look on your face that you don't want to hang out, do you? That's alright. After all, we aren't even related. I need to think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Yeah, liar, you are known for lying. Anyways, let's go down to his fucking cave here that he, I guess, dug out from his floor. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of work. Man, he's running all over the place. So, nice buddy, I found proof of a great treasure. A great haul. Yeah, haha. <laughs> I'll show you, but you're but you're the only one. Come on. Holy moly. If this is a sign what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Golden statues glowing strangely. Oh, he just says the same fucking thing. Well, that's a pretty cool statue you found there. I mean, I don't see why it pertains to us in any shape or form, but, you know. That's Liar Exaggerate for you, always uncovering stupid shit since 1983. Man, I need to... I guess, um... Oh. Turn my um, compression of these videos down a little bit. I mean, this lag is kicking my ass. Oh boy, sir, that is what we call an automatic win. Let's show that off again for you. Boom! Don't even have to fight it. Earthbound is Earthbound and Mother Three are the only um, two games I can think of that have that feature. That feature being um, when we uh, when you get into a fight with an enemy that the game basically knows, okay, you're gonna win this. Like it's not even gonna be a contest. Um, the game will basically give you an automatic win um, and give you the experience. And I always thought that that was one of the greatest. I always thought that was one of the greatest experiences, or one of the greatest things I've seen in an RPG in a long time. Guy stole a cookie and gave me a cookie. <laughs> mean man. Anyways, we're gonna go rest up again. <clears throat> but yeah, the only difference between um, the version of the automatic win and this game and the difference between it and this game and uh, I guess you could say uh, Mother 3 is that in Mother 3 um, dear god I'm all nasally this morning in Mother 3 you don't get the experience um, you just get the automatic win so that's kind of depressing but you know that's just how it is I guess I mean, it would have been cool if they left in the whole experiencing and make grinding a lot easier. Because grinding in this game is already easy as it is. What I was saying was, um, uh... Hold on, we gotta go up to the library here real quick. Alright, kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yes. Here's a map. And that is the only thing on the map. All the info is there except the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the X button located near the top? Ha ha ha. That's got town map. 
Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. Anyway. <clears throat> In accordance to said thing. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? No, you're busy. I understand. Um, yeah. Enemies will start running away from you. I'll explain all that bullshit later because... Oh, there we go. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. And that's got the Mr. Baseball cap. I had a dream about you. You were traveling with a cute girl. Dream comes true. Say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. Yeah. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. And I can only get one meaning out of that. And I could say, honestly, kid, you're wearing way too big of a hat for me to come on to you like that. I mean, come on. Uh, Mr. Baseball cap, we're going to put that on there. Bada boom. Wait, yeah, there we go. Nest dug around trash can. Let's see here. There's a hamburger. Well, nice. Got a hamburger already. Let's go to the drugstore. Basically, these are your shaps. But first, you gotta go up to the ATM. You gotta withdraw. You gotta take all that bullshit out. Bam. How may I help you? Uh, we do not need a cold remedy. What can I do for you today? Bye. Um. That's another thing, when you hover over gear in this game, like when you're buying it at a store, um, it'll flash over the person that can use it and if it's an upgrade. So, you shouldn't have to really worry too much about, um, I guess, finding out what's better for you. See, like, I'll buy it. Do you want to equip it here? Yes. It automatically equips it, and then he automatically asks if you want to sell him your old one. So, they did it really well in this game. Anyways, we gotta go out and grind some money to buy that cheap bracelet back there. Um, if you head to the south side of town, you'd actually start fighting the sharks. You know, the gang that Pokey was telling us about. See, there's one of them now. Whoa! Oh, please don't make it. Damn. You made it. Yes Man Jr. and his cohort. Um, skate Punk and Yes Man Jr. Um... Shoot, I forgot which one's better to take out first. I'm gonna go with that. Ow. Ow. Okay. Um, we're gonna heal up. As long as they don't kick our ass in that time. Because both of these guys have, um... I guess you could say... Ow. Attacks that basically, um, delay their turns. Like, for example, the... Oh my god. That is not cool, man. Not cool at all. Like, the Yes Man Juniors, those guys will laugh hysterically. See, like that. Um, and the skate punks can actually fall off their skateboard and it delays their turn. So... Oh my god! We have one of every single type of fucking shark here. Um, the Pogo Man will also be pretty dangerous, but, um... Yeah. Smash, man. Get rid of your ass. Oh my god! This is not even funny anymore. Like, come on, guys. Come on. That's it. I'm taking out the fucking skate punk now. Man. Oh, I attacked the wrong guy. Thank God all of them missed. Oh my God! Another one! Another one! Yeah, I'm probably dead right here. Unless I can, uh, pull out that hamburger real quick. Oh! Balls, man. Well, there's your first death, ladies and gentlemen. Man. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Gonna sleep to get our uh, PP back. See, that's the dangerous thing about fighting sharks. 
they can always call for help and always have like more and more assholes join the fight so it's like ugh, it gets annoying so I was wrong the first one you want to take out are the skateboard guys and the pogo guys because those are the only ones that can call for help the uh, yes man juniors will not call for help as far as I'm concerned but now we gotta walk all the way back to the south side of Chicago. Oh. Auto win. Anyways, um. But yeah, as far as anything else goes, uh. Not too much to, uh. Explain here. Um. There's one specific part of town I'm trying to get to. I'm not trying to encounter any assholes on the way there. Okay, Pogo Punk, this should be easy. And yeah, I'll talk through these fights again. Um, if it means... Well, look at him, he's kicking my ass. Um, I'll talk through these fights again. Um, 15 XP. Oh man, hamburger. That's another thing. Sharks sometimes drop hamburgers, which is nice. Um, shoot to eat that right now. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll show him again because, uh, wasn't exactly fair to... Oh, my God! Get double teamed by two of the worst. Okay, damn right no one came. I think the Pogo Punk is most, um... I guess, uh, I would say dangerous in the form of offense, but skate punks can call for help, so, yeah, not too fun. Just as long as you keep, uh, healing up with the hamburgers you get and things like that, you should be just fine. Do you want to meet Frank? You don't want me, you don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Alright, we just hit level 5, and that guy was just a pogo punk, so nothing too strange. Oh man, now I gotta show you this, because the Yes Man Jr. is here. Anyways, I'm gonna take out this asshole. Boom, see, these guys are going down fast now. Then again, they give pretty damn good experience. See here, there's a can of fruit juice. Wow. Yeah, definitely not going that way. I'm gonna see if I can go up to the hotel and spend a night there. Well, that is if I can find the fucking hotel. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Whoa. Well, let's see here. There was just plain old garbage in the trash can. Well, that's unfortunate. The guy's so happy. One night stay will cost $35. You've got to be joking me. Well, at least we got rested up and all that jazz. Oh, guy walked right in my way. Good morning, here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Today's headlines in the Onet Times. Mysterious meteorite north of Onet still burning brightly. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. Better be careful. Yeah, they've been kicking my ass up and down the streets all day. Anyways. Yeah, it's weird that the hotel itself has just like its own tiny like ATM room. I was like uh, when I first saw it, I was like, that's kind of weird. Man, the lag is ri <laughs> The lag in the back of your head is ridiculous. Where the fuck is the, uh, drugstore? It's somewhere up here. There it is. <laughs> Anyways, I want to see how much money I have. See if I could buy that cheap bracelet now, but... You know, you're never really sure. Holy hell, $110. That's another thing. Fighting charts will give you, I guess, quite a bit of money. Um, yeah. 
I want to buy that cheap bracelet. Yes, defense change from 9 to 14. No, I do not need anything else. That will be all for today. Um, what level are we? I believe we're level 5. Uh, experience points. 88 experience for next level. Well, I normally don't like to fight the boss of this chapter, or I guess mini-boss, until I'm about level 6 or 7. So, I'll probably grind up till then. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just cut it, as in like, as if... <laughs> I'm wondering if I should just, um, I guess cut the video to when I'm done grinding, or if I should just, yeah. You know, just record all the way through. Man, I talked during that fight, now I gotta keep it. Anyway, man, there are sharks everywhere, man. Okay, now that was weird. That guy was only doing, like, what, like, one to two damage to me with each of his attacks? See, and look at that. Hamburgers don't even heal me up all the way anymore. I'll haul you out of that. Took out both those assholes. Um... You know, we could go in the arcade, but... Okay. I'm not sure where I stopped right there. It, I kind of wasn't paying attention to me getting cut out. But uh, I'll probably save the arcade until I'm actually a ripe around level to fight the mini-boss. Because, as you can probably guess, he's at the arcade. Racking up more hamburgers in a white castle. I don't know. Speaking of white castle, white castle's not that great. I'm sorry to anyone who like is a big fan out there, but you know, I've had white castle burgers and they just aren't that great, so you know I don't know. I've always felt that way about them. Okay, I just one shot at that guy. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Like, one attack and it was like, boom. Man, another one shot. That wasn't even a critical. It's just like, boom, normal attack, one shots him. Which means, as you know, we are getting up there in levels. Um, I guess. Who knows. Man, that was another one of those fights where the guy kept calling him more and more of them. But, I dealt with him. Can of fruit juice, we can use that. Yeah, it just heals as much as a cookie does. Anyways, how much more do I got? 93 experience on the next level. Hmm. Well, I wish there was a fast way to do that. Fortunately, I can't think of any faster way than just fighting sharks. Okay, pretty much smash that guy into oblivion, literally. Got a crit on him and it was all over. Anyways, I'm gonna buy uh, some food, or at least. Come on, come on man, don't. <laughs> uh, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. I'll buy two bread rolls, there you go. Um, I believe skip sandwiches make you run faster. Um, like they'll make your movement in the overworld uh, faster. And I believe the luck one makes so that you uh, just get more criticals in battle for a short time being. Um, yeah. Uh, as far as all that goes, okay. Had to check on my time. Um, basically, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, a dog? But yeah, skip sandwiches make, um, make running away from enemies in the overworld a lot easier. 
Uh, that's definitely a strategy you can use if you're like in a really tough place. You just eat a skip sandwich. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Just beat it. Okay. Pogo Punk. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. It doesn't matter if it's boiled or fried. Just eat it. Anyways, got me a hamburger, which I might just eat in a little bit here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. Yeah, what if I do? I'll tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables. But that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you actually bother to equip it? <laughs> I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So, you ready to get it on Spanky? Yeah, apparently that's like an insult in this universe. I'm gonna talk through this fight. Apparently, Spanky is um, an insult. And you'll see it quite a bit more later. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own twit. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Yeah, that's a pretty good temp there. Temp there. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yeah, come back after you finish Earthbound. Damn! Do you want to become a member? No, don't be such a snob. I haven't beaten Earthbound yet. I can't become a member. I'm just kidding y'all, I have. I had to talk through that fight again. Let's gain 13. Aw, oh, shit! Offense up by one defense, speed, vitality, IQ, HP up by 14, PP up by 4, damn, damn, um, use uh, one of our hefty bread rolls to heal ourselves up here, now we're gonna go take on the mini boss, <coughs> sorry about that, clearing my throat, I'm Frank, you are, come on, can't you at least say your name? Oh, you know what that spiral means. Frank attacked. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just gonna bash the shit out of him. Oh, said something nasty. Smash for 63 damage. Holy hell. I have never in all my time of playing Earthbound one-shot Frank. That is amazing. Holy moly. I can't believe it just happened. Fail-proof Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. You know, another boss. But yeah, can you imagine how that fight went? He basically says some dirty words and I smack him across the face and he like passes out. He's just like, ugh, uh, fuck it. Anyways, bam. Generated burst of steam. 19. Threw a punch, bam. Yeah, basically this guy will switch off. On one turn he'll do um, something steam. Next turn, he'll throw a punch, gather up steam, throw a punch. 20 HP. Tore into you! Oh! Yeah, when something says tore into you, it means, uh, basically, it's that's when an enemy gets a critical strike. Damn. Crit my ass more than I'm critting the sharks. <laughs> more harder than I critted Frank. But oh well, he's no match for us. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. That allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster suck up all the energy in that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. T the entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Our adventure is indeed. <laughs> yeah. He'll do that constantly. Every time you like walk in there, he'll be like, yeah, up in your face. And it's like, what do you want, dude? Anyways, we gotta go up to town hall and grab ourselves a key to that there shack. Yeah, we're important now. Boop, ba -doo, boop, boop. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around on that. Is the mayor gonna let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. By yourself? You ain't gonna accomplish much doing that, man. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle's waiting for you. Man. 
I mean, since I one-shotted Frank. Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. So nice to meet you. You beat up town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. And you forced them to promise not to take any more trouble. Make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the Touring Entertainer Shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help the, keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. Such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Alright, we got the key to the shack. The Touring Entertainer Shack. Anyways, we're probably going to bounce our way up there. And that'll probably be the end of said video. Because God knows how long this is. I'm almost up to 40 minutes now of recording time. But, uh... Once again, I have all the battles and things like that to edit out, so... You know, you never really know how long it's going to be when dealing with RPGs that you have to edit fights out of. Man, this lag. Yeah, those moles aren't enemies. If you talk to them, they'll just give you hints, things like that. It's pretty nice. Door is locked. Um, the shack was locked by someone in the city hall, so we can't use it. Reason is closed because a punk named Frank made his trash place. I'm to drag. Can't even change our clothes, and hotels are too expensive. Right, I forgot. You have to go to goods. You have to use. Let's use key to the shack. The door opened. Wow, you opened the door. Alright, here's a trinket for good luck. It's a travel charm. That's got the travel charm. We're gonna equip that. Anyways, this is the Touring Entertainer Shack. Yeah, pretty nice, except for the giant fucking hole in the wall in the bed that looks like liar exaggerates. Anyways, we're gonna end the video here because next time on Earthbound, we're actually gonna go into the first dungeon of the game. Yeah, that's right, we ain't seen nothing yet. Anyways. See you next time. Thank you for watching.